Hello and welcome to another midweek message. It's Wednesday, 6.30 in the morning, obviously. Now, where's my note to? We are 12 degrees centigrade, which is 53 Fahrenheit, 81% humidity, 1001 millibars. The flag is, I can only just see it, it's dark <laughs> and it's cold. I'd say it's 12 degrees, but it is cold out there. I've just been out to feed the squirrels. The flag is kind of, Actually, the wind's coming from the east for a change. That does make a change. Bob, hello to, <laughs> hello to you. Bob says he had an out-of-body experience. He's done that before. After drinking too many pints of beer. <laughs> out-of-body experience, I like that. John, your mum brought the washing in. This is when I was talking about frozen washing. Do you remember? In the winter, you bring the washing in and it's frozen solid. John says he remembers his mum bringing in a sheet that was frozen. It must have been a, a huge sheet, obviously not folded up. And his dad, who was sitting in the armchair, thought it was a ghost coming into the room. <laughs> I like that, John. That's brilliant. Gary, nice to hear from you. Gary remembers being 11 years old in secondary school. This is out. Do you remember I was talking on the hockey field in the frozen weather and it's child abuse as far as I was concerned. I must have been 11 or 12, Gary, at the time. If the teacher caught you with your bootlaces untied, he would make you take your boots off and throw them as far as he could and you would have to go running down the icy field in your socks to get your boots back. You soon learn to have your laces tied up. Can you imagine the complaints from parents if that happened now? I agree, Gary. Stone the crows. People would end up in court. <laughs> the school would be closed down. I don't know. I, don't, I think that's going a bit far, though, isn't it? Making you run across a frozen <laughs> field in your socks. I think I had the best solution. Just play truant every Friday afternoon and miss out on the sports thing altogether. We went to Hotham Park in Bognor a couple of days ago. Had to pop over there to pick up some radio bits and pieces from a little place called Felpham. You may know it. We were a little bit early, so we went to the cafe in Hotham Park. While we're walking through the park, we saw loads of squirrels, which was nice. And we decided to collect some acorns for our squirrels, which we did. Now, there was a conker tree, well, several conker trees. And, you know, there are conkers everywhere. We collected some in the Isle of Wight, if you remember. And it just made me think, in the old days, when I was a child, every conker tree I came across to collect conkers, there were none. They'd all been collected by kids. In fact, kids were even climbing conker trees in my day to get the conkers. Now, I don't think kids collect them. They can't do. They're just everywhere, all over the ground. That's a shame, isn't it? Because playing conkers at school, well, that was all part of school life, having your knuckles broken, your fingers snapped off. <laughs> but what a shame, though. Conkers everywhere. No children collecting them at all. There we are. Sign of the times, I suppose. As I said last week, though, conkers have been banned, haven't they, in schools? But I don't know. You'd, you'd think they'd collect them for their nature. They don't have nature tables, do they? They don't have anything. They, what do they have these days in school? Apart from fights, <laughs> people being arrested. Amelia, hello to you. Thank you for your email. Amelia has two boys at school. And <laughs> she says she remembers her brothers and other kids in her day having pockets full of bits of string, catapults, as she mentions, conkers, all sorts of things like that, boys' stuff, you know, like in the old programme, was it Billy Bunter? Wacko with Jimmy Edwards. Boys' pockets were always full of bits of stuff, weren't they? Bits of biscuits and you name it. She says her boys, their blazers and trouser pockets, nothing like that at all, apart from a mobile phone. <laughs> that's, that's all they've got. Is that right? She's wondering, is that right? Don't boys have bits and pieces and things in their pockets anymore? Mine used to be crammed full of stuff. I used to go to school with all sorts of things in my pockets. Food, in case I got starved halfway through the morning. Biscuits and things like that. Chocolate bars. Hide things in your blazer pockets. Bits of string, I don't know what for. Conkers, of course. Catapults. <laughs> so is that right? Uh, anyone else got any boys or girls at school, of course. What do they have in their pockets these days, apart from a mobile phone? We also had in our pockets at school cigarette cards, of course, marbles, all that sort of stuff. And we took a lot of it to school 
for swapsies. Someone might have some cigarette cards that you hadn't got for your collection. You think, oh, I want those. Tell you what, I'll give you five marbles. No, no, ten. Oh, all right then. Oh, and lighters. Cigarette lighters we used to take to school. Now, this is the 50s and early 60s when just about everyone smoked. I don't mean the kids, although a lot of us did. Kids used to collect lighters. And I remember the teacher once, he was saying about a lighter that a boy was playing with. He said, let's have a look at it. And it said pigeon on the lighter. And he said, now you see that word pigeon? He wrote it on the blackboard exactly as it was on the lighter. He said, that's meant to look like the word Ronson. Now, Ronson was a very well-known maker of lighters. And this was some, like a like these days, what do they call it? A Chinese knockoff or something. So this was happening back then. The word pigeon made to look like the word Ronson. And it did. It was quite clever. Anyway, I'm waffling on now. What do you want to talk about on Sunday? Ray's rants at protonmail.com. Any ideas? Do you know, I haven't even had a cup of tea yet. I was awake at half past four. No, four o'clock I woke up. <laughs> I don't know why I wake up so early. People say it's because I go to sleep at six in the evening, which I don't. I don't know where they get that idea from. OK, Ray's rants at protonmail.com. Let's have your emails. That wind is getting up a little bit out there. I can see now there's daylight sort of beginning. Oh, the clock's change, don't they? couple of weeks time oh doom and gloom <laughs> okay that's enough waffling um what was i going to say can't remember see you on sunday with the sunday episode of course the hour-long episode do let me know what you want me to rabbit on about to bang on about take care behave yourselves <laughs> bye for now